Hi, this is the Andy McPhee at F.A. Davis and I'd like to give you a quick tutorial of our Davis Plus Online Resource Center. If you type in davisplus.fadavis.com and hit enter, you'll come to this page. And the first thing we'll do is create an account. If you already have an account, just log in as you normally would. But if you haven't, let's create one. So I'm in the student area and I'm going to create an account under Alice at fadavis.com. Don't ask me why, Alice. I just feel like it. And for password, um, I use hippo123. And then I'm going to say join. Now I'm a new member, so I'll put my name here, Alice. Nothing wrong with that. And I'll use my own name, McPhee. And I'll use my email address again, Alice at fadavis.com. And I'll put the passwords in again, hippo123 and hippo123. Did I do that right? One, two, three. And then submit. Now, you'll come to this page. This is your student locker page. It says, Hi, Alice McPhee, welcome. And it will have all of the titles in this area that you would have access to normally if you've put in an access code. We're not doing that right now. Right now, I just want to search for a book and see because I'm using it and I want to see what's available for it. So I'm going to click into the search box not the plus code box down here that's if you have an access code inside the front cover of one of our books we call it a plus code then you can type it in there and you get extra content for that particular book. But I have a book let's say that I'm using right now that doesn't have plus code inside the front cover. I'll go back up to the search box and I'm going to search for Eagle, like the bird, E-A-G-L-E. -E. She's one of our authors. And I'm going to hit enter or go, either one. I now see this page showing all of the books that Sharon Eagle authors for us. And she authors three of them, plus a set of flashcards here. I'm looking for the fourth one the professional medical assistant and I'm going to click there or the book cover or even over here in this area it will all take us me to the same page and here is that page now this is the resource site so it shows all of the resources that are available for this particular title you can see two icons here one is you can enter a plus code again which I don't have for this title or I can add this to my locker, which I'm going to do. So I'll add this to my locker. It added it. I click OK. Terrific. Now, Premium Resources, you can get a digital version, an ebook version of this book in any number of formats if I click here, but you need an access code. And to get an access code, you contact our customer service. And the number is up under support. But for now, let's go to the Student tab, and let's click Bonus Interactive Exercises and Activities. This is the functionality that happens with all of the resources throughout Davis Plus, so get kind of used to it. So I'll click that, and then a box comes out below. Scroll down a little bit. It's got some directions. If you don't have Flash Player, many of these exercises require Flash, so you can get the Flash Player here, but most people have that already. So below the Flash Player icon, you can see that there are two types of interactive activities. One Memory Mania and one is Quiz Show. And I'll click the down arrow by Memory Mania or the arrow by Memory Mania. I can just click Memory Mania also. And now it opens up all of the chapters that have a Memory Mania activity. If I click on any one of them, I'll do Chapter 17, Billion Collection. Now hang on, let me bring that into the screen and this is what comes up. So you get an additional screen that pops up just like this one and you can work your way through it as um, you, you normally would any activity. This one happens to be similar to an old time game called Concentration. But in any case it will pop up a window. Any of these other ones will do exactly the same thing and you can play the games 
do the activities to your heart's content. That's the functionality, basically, and it happens with all of these tabs, premium, student, instructor, and general. Even the instructor ones, you'll see, anyone can see, all of the things that happen in the, that, are, that are available for instructors. Here's the instructor's guide, and I want to get the entire file right here. It's 9.67 megs, and I click on that, but it says, uh-oh, we're sorry, you don't have permission to access the instructor's resources for this title. So students cannot get at <laughs> all this stuff for faculty, but faculty can when they adopt a book, because they'll sign in under a different, in a different area. Go back under general, same kinds of uh, um, functionality, you click a link, things come out the front. This one's a little bit different because when you click this link, it opens up a PDF, a window, because I'm using Chrome as my browser, it opens up a window. If you're using Internet Explorer, it will ask you if you want to download the file, because this is the PDF file. And I can look at this PDF and browse through it. This is a sample chapter of what the book is like. I'm going fast, I know. Let me, I'll just go down here. Watch your eyes. Oh no, this is just a table because of front matter. That's what it is. But anyway, it opens up PDFs and you can save or print the PDFs as you see fit. That's basically the uh, Davis Plus website. One more thing, you can go to Davis Support here. You can go to any of our uh, areas under Health Professions, under Nursing, or under Tabers and go right to uh, get the best medical dictionary in the world and look at all of the resources that are available for students and faculty as well as premium resources resources excuse me with an access code and let's add that to the locker too Alice is really making out well this time it's added speaking of that let's go see what's in there when you go to the locker for Alice or your own. Now you see your own titles, all the ones you have available, and you can go to them very easily uh, so you don't have to go through that whole search thing. So that's basically uh, uh, Davis Plus in a nutshell. Um, I hope this has been helpful, and uh, have a great day.